Welcome, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about micropipetting. You're going to learn how to use a micropipette. You're going to learn what it is, and then we're going to go through a little demo of how to do that. This is a micropipette. This happens to be an Eppendorf. And of course, there are different volumes of micropipettes. Here we have a 10 microliter micropipette, a 100 microliter micropipette. And there are different volumes. This happens to be a 1,000 microliter or 1 mil micropipette. Of course, we want to be able to change the volumes. These are variable volume micropipettes. And you can see from this dial, I'm dialing the volume down and this way up. So I'm going to set this at 1,000 microliters. There. And we're all set to go in a couple of minutes because first you can see here on the bench that I have a test tube filled with a red liquid. It's an aqueous solution, water and some red pigments. And you can see along the very front of this tube that the, the water makes a crescent shape. This is called the meniscus. And this is because of a few properties of water one of which is uh, adhesion. So water adheres to the container that it's contained in. Cohesion, water molecules adhere to each other. And surface tension, water molecules uh, adhere very closely to each other at the interface between the air and the top of the water. So how do we use one of these micropipettes? Well, the first thing that I'm going to do, of course, is, is set the micro uh, pipette tip onto the micro pipette. I'm going to press down firmly, but gently, and lift straight up. And we'll get rid of that now. And now um, you have to expel the air from the barrel of the micro pipette before putting it down into the liquid, into the center of the meniscus. If we don't, then we're going to get a whole bunch of bubbling, which will really interfere with our ability to make a precise measurement. So we're going to expel the air first, push down to the first stop, go down just below the meniscus into the center. We're going to pre-wet the tip slowly, a few times, up and down, so that our measurement is going to be accurate. Nice and easy. And then we're going to pick up our one and a half mil tube and at eye level, we're going to slowly expel to the first stop and then to the second stop. Then we release uh, the barrel after we've taken the micropipette tip out of the solution. So that's basically how you perform micropipetting. It's not difficult, but it does require technique, and it does take practice.